Hi, I'm Kristen Burt for Red Carpet Report, and we are here at the 21st Annual Art Directors Guild Awards. Tell me what the biggest challenge is for you on the set of passengers. I think the biggest challenge is really we're trying to come up with something that we haven't seen before in science fiction. You know, it's a very well-trodden path uh, designing spaceships. So really the biggest problem was what do we do that's different? You know? How do you come up with those inspiration and ideas? Because you do, you have all of these other incredible films in front of you. I think for me it was really, there was a certain amount of spontaneity. We had a very limited amount of time to design this film. So a lot of our raw ideas found their way into production simply because we didn't have time. Whereas a lot of designs can be bogged down in uh, overthinking or perhaps designed by committee. Passengers wasn't really burdened by any of those things, so it helped. Ah, sometimes the pressure of time makes you think clearer very quickly. I think it does, yeah. <laughs> um, what do you think uh, in terms of technology? Is it something that helps your job or are there a couple things that you like to do the old-fashioned way? I suppose with, with this art department in particular, we, we ran the gauntlet. Everything from traditional techniques, I tend to sketch in pencil in a, in a sketchbook very traditionally, but we also use the most cutting edge technology in order to help us make the sets in a timely manner. A lot of the set designers and uh, art directors use programs that go directly to cutting machines that actually cut pieces of the set. So we can really bypass a lot of the old uh, production methods by utilizing technology. I'm a fan of using anything that works at the end of the day. Whatever's going to be the most successful method, right? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Oh, I love that. Thank you for sharing your insight. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks, so Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and in the comments below, let us know what movie had the coolest looking set this year.